This week, I'm in a country that produces over 6 million cars every year. Right, we're on a six-day tour of Germany. Over 1,000 miles in some of the finest and dodgiest cars this country's ever produced. Look at the smoke around the back. We're here in Berlin. And then from Berlin, we're going to head to Wolfsburg. From Wolfsburg, we're going to head to what was East Germany, to Eisenach. Then we go from Eisenach down to Frankfurt. Frankfurt down to Stuttgart. And then for the final fling, the Nürburgring. That's fantastic. <laughs> what we're going to find out on the way, really, is what makes Germany tick when it comes to cars. How they drive. You have to be direct. Don't be so British. What they drive. Visibility looks good. I'm trying to find the pluses here. And what their cars say about them. That is very German. Hello, Christian. Hey, Paul, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. And the producers have lined up some extremely tall Germans to travel with me. You know what? I think I'm too tall for this guy. I could never be the president of a banana republic. To teach me about the German love of cars. How you feel 45 horsepower. And make me look a lot smaller than I actually am. On my final day, I hook up with comedian and Germanophile Al Murray. I really, really love this country. All right, let's go. Who's six foot three. And, of course, this being Germany, there'll be some naked people and some big sausages. Six fascinating days and a thousand miles for me to learn how to drive like a German. My road trip starts in the German capital, home to 1.2 million cars, almost 3,500 miles of roads and more doner kebab shops than Istanbul. To help me navigate around Berlin, I've enlisted the help of a local. Christian Schutelow is a comedian who was born in the city. So that's how Germans heckle you. They wait until the show is over and then approach you with a clipboard. Christian is six foot seven. That joke didn't make sense. He's going to give me a driving lesson to teach me how to drive like a German and blend in on the streets of Berlin. We met up in probably the most extraordinary garage I've ever seen. Wow. I mean, look at these cars. That's proper German car, that one. This is the classic Remise and is, in large part, a very posh car park. Where rich Berliners keep their most valuable cars in glass boxes. You know that Berlin is considered to be one of the poorest cities in Germany, right? So this is, I don't know if, if, if this is owned by people from Dusseldorf, I think. But that's a rich place. <laughs> it was a bit like going into Hamleys when you were six, just before Christmas. Oh, get off. Look at that LaFerrari. The best bit is, this place is open to the public. Oh, wow. It just goes on, doesn't it? You can walk in here for free and trail saliva right around the highly polished floors. Oops, that was my sunglasses. <laughs> There's even a bread van. Look, I just like, I read Hitler board. That was wrong, wasn't it? It's what? It's my German guilt kicking in, I think, that reads Hitler. <laughs> Brot, is that, is that bread? Yeah, what is it? It is, bread. it's bread, isn't yeah. it? That's my wagon right there. It is an extraordinary place, but I think the best thing in here is the car we're taking out onto the streets of Berlin. This is, for me, one of the most iconic cars that Germany has ever made. The 600 grosser Mercedes. Mercedes now, 600. It, look at the, look at the size. It's quite an imposing car. I can't wait to see what it drives like. Let's be dictators and drive around Berlin. Brilliant. <laughs> 